All right, here we go. We have NBA royalty in the building. Tim Hardaway and Charles Oakley. Welcome to Vlad TV. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, uh, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. I'm glad you guys were able to finally sit down and, uh, you know, sit down with me. In fact, Charles, uh, I've, been, I've been bothering your wife for an interview now for the last few months. <laughs> yeah, she told me, everybody was telling me, I said, well, we got, I got to, you know, make sure this book get out and so we have something else to talk about. But now you came through the back door and got me anyway. <laughs> I, got, I came through the back door. That's the fly still got in the house some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, let's talk about why you guys are here. So you guys are doing the five tournament. Right. Okay. So, uh, Tim, tell me about this. Well, the five tournament is a group of guys that played on different teams like the Miami Heat, New York Knicks, uh, Texas. Uh, it's divided up of, you know, three teams, Houston, Dallas, and in San Antonio, then you have um, Toronto, um, Miami, and, um, and Chicago. And these guys played with these teams before, and they know about all the rivalries. This is about rivalry, base, basically. And it's about these teams um, knowing about the rivalry, playing against, you know, when it was back in the 90s, the Bulls and the Knicks, the Heat, the Knicks, the Heat, the Bulls. And, um, and so... Uh, it's a tournament where these guys get a chance to keep playing basketball, something that they love to do. And it's, it's totally different. You know, they come out here and, and um, it's almost like the big three, but it's not like the big three. Got some stuff similar, but a lot of things not. You know, you have uh, at the uh, end of quarters, if you're in a bonus, you get to put a fourth guy on the court and you could double team or you can or you can. Um, uh, make easy play for yourself, but if you score a basket, the guy comes off. If you don't score a basket, the guy stays on for the fourth guy stays on for sixty seconds, so for a minute. So it's um it's a lot to know of, and it's competitive, and it's fun, and it's these guys you know they they've been itching to play for the last five months, and and they've been taking care of their bodies. You know, a lot of people, a lot of these guys. Uh, people don't don't know that they've been in training, they've been working out, they've been um, uh, making sure their bodies that is in shape and healthy. And yesterday, uh, the three games that I called, man, I, I was impressed. I was um, I was uh, very happy for them because they had a lot of fun and and they missed the game. So uh, you know, it's just about rivalries and and and, and kind of bringing back the rivalries to to the uh, to show everybody that they still are rivalries when you when these teams get get, get together. Okay, and you guys aren't actually playing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no come on, man. No, no, no just no. talk about it. That's it. <laughs> so there's no way to get you guys back on the court no. like this. No, no, no. no. I play you horse. Walk on the court to get to the seat or something. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. We walk across the court to get to the seat, or we might shoot a ball, show them that you know we can still shoot the ball. But other than that. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, okay. And I guess part of this whole tournament is there's going to be a battle of the sexes. Battle of the sexes? Yeah, they, they, yeah. Play, they play Thursday evening, uh, women against the men. Yeah, yeah. And some of the men was talking about, you know, uh, they're going to rough them up a little bit. They're going to show them what, you know, uh, physicality is about. And I was like, hey, you can't rough them up too much. Right. Watch what you do. <laughs> just play good, steady basketball uh, and just try to win the game. That's that's about it. But don't uh, try to hurt nobody and don't try to be that much physical than, than they are. Okay, so is it going to be WNBA players of the same age range as these other players or is it going to be younger women? I think it's going to be WNBA players the same age that still are active at 35, 34, 36, you know, around that age. And they go come out here and play. The, you know, some of them are not playing in the WNBA so uh, uh, with the startup. So uh, some of them might be coming. I'm not for sure yet because, you know, every day it changes. But, uh, uh, but it's going to be competitive. You best believe that. I mean, can you guys imagine a female player actually getting into the actual NBA at some point? Um. I mean, they've been trying to get a female coach, so sooner or later, it's always going, always one going to happen. It's, it's some girls 
back in the days, I mean, could really play basketball. I mean, maybe the one or two were pro inside, probably been too physical. But maybe the wing or something, I think a couple of females could have played back in the day. So they had some girls who really could play, especially, you know, Cheryl Miller, you know, Cheryl Swoop, all them girls. Them girls could play. I mean, not to take them from them playing with guys, but I think they could, you know, they might not have been get a lot of time, but they could have been on the end of the bench, but I don't know how happy they would have been just being on the team bench because they, they could play. If a seven foot female suddenly pops up somewhere in the world who's actually big and muscular, it might happen. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. You know, you can't um, not say it, it, it won't happen or it will happen. I just say anything is possible. And, and um, if it does happen, um, I know everybody will be excited and, and, and it'll be a lot of viewers. You guarantee that it'd be a lot of viewers to see how she will play with the uh, with grown men. I think a lot of them female back from the eighties, ninety definitely could play right now in the NBA. Yeah, mm. definitely think a few of them could play. They were yeah. just hard nose. Yeah, Cheryl Miller definitely. She wanted to. There's a few of them could play yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. and make a difference.